Hello and welcome to another interesting episode of Social Distancing with Winfrey. Okay, so now this is where I give you the updates of everything happening around the world, of course, as regards coronavirus, entertainment, your favorite celebrities, childbirths, and much more. So sit back, relax, because I'll be right back with all the tea you need. Welcome back and thanks for sticking here with me. Okay, so let me start with the global coronavirus cases, right? This is really sad, but the world has recorded about roughly 5 million coronavirus cases and over 300,000 deaths, right? With US leading, they actually have over 1.5 million cases and way over 90,000 deaths. That is really scary. Bringing it down to Africa, South Africa is actually leading with over 14,000 cases and a little bit over a whole lot over 200 deaths, right? And this is actually really, really worrisome because considering the fact that the president of that country, South Africa, was actually seen in recent times violating social distancing rules and laws. And I'm like, okay, this is the first person in this country that's meant to make sure that everyone is abiding by these rules. If he, as a leader, is breaking these social distancing um, laws or rules, what do we expect the people or citizens of South Africa to do? Like, I'm bugged. Moving home to Nigeria, we have actually recorded about 6,000 cases with way over 200 deaths. And I think that is actually really sad, considering the fact that we've conducted only about 34,000 tests. Like, really, considering our population. Anyways, on Monday, our president addressed us through the head of NCDC, and he actually told us of how the lockdown, or the ease of lockdown, is actually going to be extended for another two weeks. What that simply means is that everybody cannot go right back into work except you are essential services. But we know that that is all bull <clears throat> because Nigerians are really vibrant people and people need to eat. Okay, but anyways, stay safe and do everything you possibly can to remain safe. Still on COVID-19, okay, so President Buhari has actually received the cure that's said to have come from Madagascar. And um, he actually still spoke about the fact that he will still take science cures over anything herbal or organic. However, Madagascar says that this has worked for them as considering the fact that they first um, happened to witness coronavirus like two months um, ago. And after that, they lost their patients two months after their first or their index case. So I don't know if it works or anything, but hey, but we actually hear that the whole cure from Madagascar is actually all organic and it's from natural stuff. I think I heard it has dongo yaro in it and things like that. And rumors has it that the world has refused to accept it because it's from Africa. But I do not know. However, just make sure you keep staying safe and do not take anything that is not totally proven, okay? Still on COVID and is lockdown related issues. So we have the Minister of Aviation come and tell us or divulge certain information. So apparently a British based jetliner, that is a British based airline, literally have been conducting businesses in and out of Nigeria all disguised as essential services. So apparently they were they were actually contacted to move about people that needed to be moved around as regards okay coronavirus testing, essential services and all that. However, they took that opportunity to conduct their normal airline business smuggling people in and out of nigeria this is crazy but i love the fact that now they said okay fine the airplanes have been compounded or impounded and of course um the lady all the people involved are presently quarantined the minister of aviation is however not joking talking about how at this point the maximum punishment is what these people are going to be faced with right and of course investigation is definitely still on the way guys things are happening in this world though stay safe oh. hmm. this next story definitely blew my mind and i was totally totally i, I was like screaming <laughs> when i read it right okay so media mogul mo abudu actually took it upon herself to set sky news straight right and this is why so they made a publication 11th may 2020 of course and this is what he read i literally have to read this one this is what it read it literally read spiky coronavirus haircuts growing in popularity in africa here is why so it actually even went over to talk about how this particular haircut 
it's actually 90% cheaper than all others and like Africans are using this this time and it's getting popular because of coronavirus and um, when I first read the headlines I'm like what? But thanks to our darling beloved Moabudu, who actually took it upon herself to speak and educate these people about the history of hairstyling, hair making, and this particular style, I mean, and all of that. And she actually first went in talking about how, see, first of all, this is not a haircut. This is a hairstyle, like a proper hairstyle for queens. She also further spoke about how the hairstyle signifies a lot. It tells about our history, our heritage. It actually did help with families, generations, culture, and all those kind of things. Man, as I was reading it, I'm like, see, we need more people like this in our lives, in Nigeria, and in Africa, and in the world at large. People that know their roots and see, cannot be pushed and bullied around because some people think, okay, fine, the people are adopting these things. The fact that we adopt this other other things like okay human hair synthetic hair it doesn't mean that we do not respect and appreciate our thread man I rocked thread for like six years all through my years in um, secondary school and see I will even still rock it now again because see this is our thing right but then again we should not shame it. it's fine do whatever hairstyle you want to do but when they're talking down on it make sure you stand up and the part that blew my mind the most is the fact that sky news in less than or about two to three hours actually took that post down and redid the headline to actually refer where they actually refer to it as a hairstyle and talking directly about more more stuff more sense-based stuff and i'm like mabudu Big ups to you, right? People actually posted this. I also posted it on my Instagram story and all of that. Man, we need to start stepping up to these people. And now over to entertainment. So a whole lot has definitely been going down because everybody's home, or rather most people are home and most people are bored, right? So celebrities take it upon themselves to do live. I do live too, so do catch me up, follow me on social media and see when that happens. And of course, a whole lot of celebrities have been conducting live sessions on Instagram. And this week, of course, we had the likes of Tokema Kingwa talking about her, how people should stop, um, 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 I, when I say sh divorce, shaming her and all of that. That how people still call her out for being divorced and all of that. Um, which we also had the likes of David O's PA who actually said that being David O's PA actually is better than being a bank manager in Lagos. I don't even know who should collect these buzz boosts. Is it the Nigerian federal government? Is it the bank managers? Is it the banking uh, industry? Is it us? Us? Because I'm confused. Anyways, moving on, we also had. Um, Akon, who was actually on a live session with Fajo, talk about how Burner Boy was literally is the one giving us the truth in his songs, just praising and hyping him. And I went to the comment section of that and I was blown away. Trust Nigerians. People talk spoke about how now Burner's boy should have part will be times 10 because normally our guy is actually very, very, very <clears throat> confident. Anyways, Bono Boy actually not long after that took to his own social media or to Twitter to actually post and say that, see, they hate me because I tell them the truth, what they, what they, what they need to hear but not want to hear. And I'm like, Brenna boy, calm down now. We're not fighting. But then again, he played it cool. He played it easy. And I think that was absolutely amazing. I just love the fact that they're actually going on about like Nigerian celebrities now. I mean, Brenna boy is one. Davido, Whiskey, we're all doing great. So guys, keep on doing great. And brag as much as you want, as long as you're making that money and doing it right, okay? Still in the world of entertainment, so Big Brother Niger 2019 Pepe Dem winner, Messi Ike has actually gotten herself a nice new brown baby business, okay? And this one, she actually delved head on into the real estate market, and I think that's totally amazing. She actually launched her own real estate firm titled or called Lambo Homes, and this she actually posted on her social media platform telling everybody about how she actually dreamed about this for over 10 years. I just love the fact that she's dreaming about things and she's making them come through. I did watch that episode of her in the house during Brick Brother where she actually spoke about how she always dreamed of being in the house and she couldn't believe she made it. So it's just to tell you that your dreams are valid, okay? All you need to do is work towards it and push towards it. That is actually all. <laughs> okay, so now this particular segment I decided to do because of my love for babies. See, don't get me started. I have 
a lot of babies around me okay and i love babies so much and that is why i will take my time to congratulate usain bolt and his baby mama slash girlfriend slash wife maybe for their newborn baby girl like a huge congratulations to you also if you know me you know i'm from a do state right and now the other of benin actually just welcomed a brand new son with one of his wives congratulations to you we wish all your babies grow up good and healthy Mwah. <laughs> And on that note, it's a wrap on this amazing episode. I did have a whole lot of fun. But before I go, let me show you something. You see this earring I'm wearing? It's from Nini Accessories. She is based in Abuja, but can ship jewelry to you wherever. She has fabulous pieces, so you definitely need to get that. Now, to see the dress I'm wearing that is popping, 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 that I got from Lady.MMA on Instagram, just keep watching. You don't want to miss this. You don't. You don't. Dr. Dollar Entertainment.